Hello. As you can probably gather, I'm doing a night session tonight. Um, after cut mainly. In the morning I'll be after bream on the quiver tip. Um, yes, yeah, I should probably gather um, in the bivvy. And, um, yeah, I'm here for one night. The reason why I couldn't talk to you earlier on in the evening because, um, because I work and everything. Literally been here a couple of hours and because it gets dark so early. Um, literally I had, I had to get on my gear, set up my bivvy, set up my rods out, and then by the time I'd done all that it got dark. So here I am talking to you now it's dark. I've had my dinner and everything like that. It's about nine o'clock now. Got the rods out. I'll take you through the rigs and PVA mix and all that stuff later. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll be fishing cart rods all through the night and all through summer tomorrow. I'll also put out a quiver tip rod early in the morning, 6 ish, when it starts getting light. But yeah, this should be my last cart fish of the year now. I just thought I'd. Well, an opportunity came up and I thought I'd take it. So, yeah, cart fishing. Yeah, I'll take to my ribs and everything a bit later. Quite a cold night tonight. It's, um, well, the temperatures are right. It's about 9, 10 degrees. It's alright. And, um, it's the wind that's cold. Got a northerly wind. Which might put the fish off a bit. Um, I'm here, I'm here with my mate. He's had a few liners. And a few fish rolling over his bait. And I've had a couple near mine. And I've had a couple of liners as well. No takes or anything yet. I'll have to wait and see. Right, yep, yeah, I'll see you later. Right, I thought I'd just take you through um, the baits I'm going to be using tomorrow for my bream fishing. Pretty much the main bait I'm going to be using is this bait tech. Um, pretty much betaine pellets. I've got the smaller variety, as you can see in there. Um, Literally going to be feeding those in the feeder, and I'm also going to be mixing some up as paste. This is what I'm doing now. I'll take you through how I make paste in a minute. I'll then also be using corn as a bait, as well as the paste. In my ground bait, I'll be and loose feed. I'll be using carcasses, and as my ground bait, I'll be pretty much using some of this, which is. Tony bait, crushed hazard pellet, which are pretty good for bring. So yeah, that's what I'll be using tomorrow on a simple quiver tip. I'll pretty much start that when it gets light. Yeah, I'll take you through how I make my paste in a minute. Alright, this is how I make my paste. As you can see there, I've got the kettle boiling. I'm pretty much just going to pour some of the water on. And pretty much just scald go with the pellets. Right, let's do that now. Right, let's pour the, let's pour the water on. Get a nice even coating of the water all around the pellets. There we go, that would do. Right, once you've added the scalding water, you'll leave it for about 20 minutes, I'd say, to half an hour. Not that water soak in, and if it's not quite ready, you can't mould it into a paste. Add a bit more. That's been about 10 minutes, I had a quick look at it, and it wasn't quite right, so I added a bit more water. So you want to keep adding water if it isn't, if it isn't moulding right. Keep taking a bit off and moulding it. That's what I came up with when I moulded it just then. So not quite there yet. So yeah, keep adding water until you get it right. Right, I thought I might just take you through the rigs I'm using. This is pretty much the standard rig I'm using. It's made out of ESP strip tees. I've pretty much mimicked the um, strip tees rigs you can buy ready made. I've literally um, put some shrink tubing on the hook there and there. So I've tried to make a bit of an anti eject rig. Pretty much, I've got about 8 inches of strip tees run down to the hook where I've just left a piece of the braid un uncoated then pinched a BB shot on about say half an inch from the hook and that then goes down to a size 
eight hook. I, I wouldn't be able to tell you what type of hook it is. I, I'll have it later and get back to you on that. And I've got that going down to a 10 mil sauce boiling with a bit of fake pop up corn stopping it. And of course the hair stopped there. So there we are. It's a nice little rig there. Got both rods out on that at the moment. Just fishing with a PVA bag. This is a PVA bag I'm using. Pretty much in both rods. As you can see. I've got a little pellet mix at the bottom there, and that's full of little betaine pellets, crushed halibut, omega, all sorts. And I've got various types of crushed boilies in the middle, and it's crushed sauce in there, crushed F bait, all sorts. So yeah, and I've got some whole 10 mils on top. And I'm pretty much just coupling that with that, working it out, scattering some more 10 mil sauce around it, and Wait and see what happens. It's about 10 now, 10 o'clock at night. As you can see, well, I say as you can see, you might not be able to see it very well, but I'm in my bivvy. And, um, yeah. So, no luck yet. A few liners going on. So the fish are moving about. At least they're not laying dormant. It's not a particularly warm night tonight, although saying that, it's mostly the wind that's cold, not so much the temperature. But, I'll give it a go. Yeah, I'll whack that out. Right, I'll see you later. About six now. And as you can hear, the weather hasn't got any better. It's actually got worse. It's um, about the same temperature, but um, the wind's picked up and now we've got rain as well, so <laughs> lovely. I managed to have a run at about four, half four, and yeah, about half four, um, tore off, and as soon as I was struck into it, the actual hook link snapped, which is a bit of a, which is a bit crap, so I reeled in, changed, I've changed both, both of the hook links, the brand new hook links on both of the rods, that took uh, two 10mm source boilies, to be honest, um, I'm not feeling too confident about getting anything else. But I suppose a run is a good thing. My mate hasn't had any runs or anything yet, so... Yeah, I suppose a run is a good thing in this weather. Yeah, I'm not too disappointed. Anyway, I'll see you later. As you can see now, it's morning. I haven't had anything since that run earlier on. Um, I haven't really seen any fish rolling either. I have put out a coarse rod. Might be able to see it just there. Just ledgering three or four casters over a bit of um, ground bait. And uh, I've also put out two or three bulbs of that paste I made up last night. Um, yeah, so I'm just fishing that at the moment. Make myself another cup of tea. Keep me warm. Bloody freezing out here today. <laughs> Probably not the best day to come carp fishing. Um, I'm pretty much here on this venue today as a trial, too, I think. And um, I think I'll probably end up becoming a member of here. I mean, just that run. Last night made me think, hmm, maybe there's a few fish here, so, yeah, this might be some I'd like to fish later on, maybe even again this year. Um, yeah, so, quite a nice place, quite happy to be here. And although I haven't had a fish, and I've enjoyed myself, nice to get back out carp fishing again. It actually inspired me to go to do a couple more waters and a bit more carp fishing this year before I give up. So, yeah, different job myself. Except from the fact I don't feel very well and it's cold, but yeah. Anyway, we'll keep at it. I'm here for another two hours, so still a bit of time yet. Right, into a car. Getting a nice run on the right hand rod. It's a nice, slow, flooding feeling. You would have one at the last. Yeah, it's worth the wait. Yeah, definitely. As you can see, it's fucking cold. <laughs> <laughs>
you all right in that name, George? Well done, mate. Here we are. Love in America. 13 pounds. Definitely worth waiting for. Okay, but nice run on the right hand rod. Just on a little PJ bag for the boilies. Fantastic fish. Definitely worth coming for. <laughs> right, let's put her back. As you can see, start packing them up now. Only got about another half an hour left. Um, yeah, not not too disappointed with the session here. Had a nice 13. Very happy with that. Thought quite hard actually. Um, it's gonna be my mates and fans and the music. <laughs> but yeah, I had got half an hour or so left. Just thought I'd um, make one last entry before I go home. The only thing about um, fishing we not to go holidays is we got college the next day, which is a bit annoying, but oh well. Yeah, I'll be for about another 20 odd minutes, I'd say. We'll leave the rod out for another 15 minutes and we'll see what happens. But yeah, nice. Good session overall, except from the bloody wind and rain. Oh well, see you next time and tight lines.